Hi, it's Anna and I'm coming to you from Costa Rica to show you how to travel for free. This is a story about the day I left my wallet in someone's car and had to figure out how to move around, eat and fix my phone for free. Hay un nuevo coronavirus. I was not very worried about my wallet because I had a feeling it was in its hands car, but it was there was a small chance I had left it in a hitchhike. Let's talk transportation. Buses are cheap, but if you don't have your wallet on you, you are screwed. So what's left? Hitchhiking. In case you've never hitchhiked, this is how things go. First, go to the road and stick up your thumb. Number two, smile. Look like you're having a good time. No one will pick you up if you look boring or whiny. Number three, turn around and look at the driver. They need to see your face to see that you're not dangerous. And number four, when they stop, smile at them, say hi and get in or hop on. That day I had to fix my phone because the inside of the charger didn't make a good connection with the cable. So I got an unnecessary hitchhack to the phone shop and I told them my story. I asked them if I can transfer some money to my laptop. They didn't allow that, so they fixed it for free. It just it just needed a bit of a clean, but like like he spent a good time fixing it, so Got my phone fixed for free. Then a lady from the States gave me a ride to town. I walked around a little bit. It's gonna be a good day. And I picked up some mangoes for lunch. I think this is a mango tree and there are some mangoes on the floor. Yeah, free mango. I love foraging for food. Nature is so abundant and there's plenty of edible plants that we don't even know about and we see every single day. These are the herbs I picked. They smell really good and I'm gonna use them for lunch. We picked up tomatoes like this. Another thing I'm gonna use that I also foraged are some lemons. Here I have the rice and it's got some curry, some basil, and now it has the lemon peels that I picked up from the jungle. Ah! The whole thing. All the way to get free food at dumpster diving, which I haven't done yet and going to fruit shops and asking for food that they cannot sell the next day. For accommodations, there's two options I can think of. A work exchange, which would be either woofing, workaway, or any other work exchange you can think of, and then couch surfing. I've only caught up once. It was in London and it was with a... We had a great time together. there's plenty of stuff so beaches rivers forests jungles parks and even walking around town is fun when traveling that day i did get in the water so the thing is that i had my suitcase with me so i had to hide it behind that boat so only the people who were in the water could see it and i was enjoying the water but constantly looking to the boat to check my suitcase i met a canadian couple they were really nice i met them at the beach we had a long talk and then they drove me back to this place because this is the road I have to go to and I'm going back to San Juanino On the way to Alia I found Shlomo who was going to Nasara and I was like fine I'll get in the car and we'll go back to Alia in an hour so good <laughs> I've been in seven cars today I've been hitchhiking my ass off 
Here's a recap of what I did that day. Got a ride from my workway to a certain point in the road. Got on a ride from that point to Nasada's ATM. Realized I didn't have my wallet on me. Got a ride to the phone repairing shop. Got my phone fixed for free. Got a ride to Nasada town. Explore the town. Picked three mangoes for lunch. Got a free tuk-tuk ride to the nearest beach. Got a free water and beverage from the tuk-tuk driver. Enjoyed the beach. Got a ride from the Canadians I met at the beach. And finally found Shlomo, the owner of my workway and I got back to my workway with him. So I got to my workway and Nitsan handed me my wallet. In the end, everything was fine and I got to remember the day as a good day. And that's it for today. Please like this video if you liked it and leave a comment with any questions you have or tips about how to travel for free. I really want to know that.